Welcome back with kind of an impromptu Volcano of the Day because this thing apparently has an ash advisory in play even though it's apparently not erupting. So here we go, we got the Puyehu Cordon uh, Caulie in Chile. Strato Volcano 7336 but elevation is dormant. Has been since 2012 at least to my knowledge. Um, anyways, the, and yeah we got that, we'll get to that in a bit. Anyways, Poyehue Cordon Cayule Volcano in central Chile is a complex of two volcanoes, Pahuye Volcano and a fissure system of Cordon Cayule. Uh, Pahuye Volcano is a 2.4, well, has a 2.4 wide summit caldera. Yep, 2.4 kilometer wide summit caldera. But historic eruptions occurred at the uh, Cordon. Caliue Rift Zone. The Cordon Caliue geothermal area occupies a 16 by 13 kilometer wide depression and is the largest active geothermal area in south in the southern Andes. Neighboring neighboring uh, Calbuco and Pahuye volcanoes lie in the same traverse fault and is has and has been noted that they tend at the same time, they tend to erupt at the same time or within a few years distance. So more info, if at all possible, links will be in the description box below nonetheless. So there's that, there's the map, um, so yeah, the Puyuye Cordon de Caule Volcanic Complex, PCCVC. I'm just gonna call it that. Um, it's just a lot easier. Is a large northwest to southeast trending late Pleistocene to Holocene basaltic to rhyolitic tra transverse volcanic chain southeast of Lago Ranco. The 1799 meter high uh, Pleistocene Cordillera Nevada uh, Nevada Caldera lies at the northwest end, separated from uh, Puhuye Stratovolcano at the southeast end by the Cordon Caulier Fissure Complex, the Plastocene Met uh, Mencheca Volcano from Hallocene Flank lies northeast of Puhuye. The Basaltic to Rhyolitic Puhuye Volcano, no. Puhihu Puhihu Volcano is the most geochemically diverse of the PCCVC. The flat topped 12, uh, 22 36 meter high uh, Puhihu Volcano was constructed above a 5 kilometer wide or 3.1 mile wide caldera and is capped by a 2.4 kilometer wide summit caldera of Hallocene Age. Lava flows and domes of mostly rhyolitic composition are found on the eastern flank of Poihuye. Or Poihie. I'm never pronouncing this correctly, just bear with me. Um, in historic eruptions originally attributed to Poihuye, um, including major eruptions in 1922, well, 1921-22, and 1960, and are now known to be from the Cordon Cayuye Rift Zone. So, now you got some eruption information, we're gonna get straight to it. Um, volcanic Ash Advisory, so we'll get to that after. But, so, looks like there was an eruption soon after that major 9.5, 9.6 magnitude quake. Um, but yeah, the Huyehu Cordon Caulé volcano started erupting on May 24th, 1960. It is possible that the eruption was triggered by the Great Earthquake in Chile, magnitude 9.5, the largest measured earthquake in history, on May 22nd of 20, uh, 1960. The eruption started with a powerful explosive Subplaninian phase, which formed an ash cloud column that reached eight kilometers. Well, that that 
you know, the eight kilometers high. And in the 2011-2012 eruption, new eruption started at the complex of the Pujuye Cordon Cayule volcano in Chile on Saturday, June 4th at 2011 after 51 years of inactivity. Um, precursors and buildup of May of 08 to June 4th of 2011. In May of 08, Pahuye had increased seismic activity, but no eruption followed. Uh, seismic activity increased again in late April and early May of 2011. A column of gases was observed, observed rising from, from Pahuye on April 26th, and the alert level of Sarn Nedjiomen was raised to 3. On May 5th, Sarn Nedjiomen first detected earthquakes, typical for magma moving at depth. The earthquakes were located 2 to 5 kilometers beneath the southeast flank of the volcano. Seismic activity continued to rise during May. On June 2nd, seismic activity alerted. It raised sharply, and the alert level raised to four yellow eruption likely in the near future days to weeks. On June 3rd, seismic swarm of 1,450 earthquakes was measured, with more than 300 being larger than magnitude 2. There are still no visual changes at the volcano, but early June 4th, red alert 5 out of 8 was given eruption imminent after further increase in seismicity and evacuations in the areas around the volcano began. The seismic activity had evolved to tremor of high energy, interpreted as magma movements inside Cordon Coulier at depths between 1 to 4 kilometers in the last 6 hours before the eruption. An average of 200 earthquakes, 230 earthquakes per hour were registered, 12 of which were greater than a magnitude 4, 50 higher than 3, and the largest was felt was a felt earthquake at 8.36 a.m. local time with a magnitude of 4.4. Residents re reported up to 20 earthquakes felt on Friday evening and Saturday morning. About 3,500 people were evacuated. And then the eruptive, the explosive eruption began on the afternoon of June 4th, Saturday, and produced a 12-kilometer high, high ash column drifting east into Argentina. Heavy ash fall like a snowstorm according to interviews, occurred in the city of Bariloche in Argentina, and its airport was closed. The Argentine government sent military to assist residents, traffic, and businesses affected by the ashfall. The border crossing between Chile and Argentina at Cardinal Semor was closed due to poor visibility in the ash rain, or ash snow. So, speaking of which, let's get to the ash advisory that was issued. Uh, that was supposed to be the Ash Advisory, not that. Um, so, we'll get to the Ash Advisory. There we go. This was posted today. No volcanic ash detected. So why did you issue it? Was it a test? Um, I think it was a test. Um, okay, this might have just been a test. Um... Yeah, no further advisories. So, it was just a test advisory. It just threw me off. So, anyways, with that, links will be in the description box below. That does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.